They'll play at 7.30 Eastern in tonight's final, but first it is Georgia and it is Northwestern. And we are Kevin Brown and John Crispin, and we are ready to play basketball. You got a mismatch down low, and it's not going anywhere. Get a guard, get Boo Booey on uh, over there where you had Bridges and attack. Barry, and Ty Barry, who did not score in 21 minutes yesterday. Abdul Rahim picks it up, tumbling over Nance. Five on four right now for Georgia. They get a good look out of it. And Cook drains a three. Feels like there are some real similarities between this team and that one. The way they've grown into an experienced unit. After taking their lumps in the Big Ten, a young group for a few years. You're going to need additional scores around the perimeter. There's an open three for Ryan Greer. He spirals it in. Don't really have the feel for the game that professionals have. So you're trying to play with space, yet don't really have the feel you need. Look out. Cook on the bounce to Bridges, an easy two. Millen will to right. Cook. Flanked by the freshman Simmons. Jackson Etter with a cut. And the score. Jackson Etter, the walk on off the bench, puts the dogs in front. You know, a dribble drive's bad, but a dribble probe might be even more difficult to defend. And there's Boo Boo. Back in the game, and a great skip pass. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Ingram offline. You're not going to answer that? Right. Keep that a secret. Control. Young off the five from Bowie. Young absorbs the contact and scores. Called in by Ryan Greer. Well, you, you mentioned three at ten from three, but these are the looks they're getting. They're, they're getting open looks, so you have to keep taking them. I'll take four for 11. That's fine. Abdur Rahim still trying to find his control of the game. Feeds a cutting Etter. What a good finish that is by Jackson Etter, his second field goal. Such an integral part of this team the last couple of years as a walk-on. Some stability for Georgia with all the losses. Second three goes for Boo Booey. Northwestern's fifth. What good is athleticism if you don't have space to use it? That's been a challenge so far for Georgia. Nance floated in for Booey, his third assist. And Tom Crean takes a timeout. If you want to be a team guy, if you want to be the star, and you better, better make sure you go into a place that allows you to be that person. Off the miss from right, Bowie to Berry, and that's a three. Back off the bench, Edder. Nice bounce, feed right, couldn't finish the first one, but he gets his own miss. The good patience from Georgia. Young backing down inside Bridges, and Simmons there, and nobody boxed out, and the freshman Simmons puts it in. This could be another Final Four kind of year for Duke. I think it could because they have dudes. They just have to keep getting better at the little things. There's Ryan Young inside with a score. Good feed for Barry. Look, I'm a little more positive than some people. That's that Jersey attitude as always. Bowie hits third three of the first half. The elbow's oh so fine as Boo Bowie's sticking it. Second in the Big Ten early with a 40% three-point mark as a team. Only behind Purdue. Barry off a cut. That's a beautiful shot. Good find by Bowie. It's amazing what happens when you get good looks and make shots. And another steal for Greer. Continues to stuff the stat sheet. Bowie blocked by Oquendo, a high flyer. It'll stay with Northwestern. But it might be a drive that draws defense and kicks leads to the next driving kick. Young again. Young scores again. He just got Bridges out of the game with his third foul on the previous possession. Back on his feet, it's McMillan. One one on two. Out to right. Open three. Missed and cleaned up. Above the rim, Aaron Cook, the 6-2 player with some hops. Still good defense by Aaron Cook. Here's Edder. Remember, he was fouled on a three at the end of the last game. This time it's taken by Greer. He banks it in, and it's good. A flat-footed hoist from Ryan Greer. Six points for Greer, and the officials want to make sure he got it off in time. He did. As soon as he let it go, it looked like it had a chance, too. It really did. It really did. Did he get it off in time? Scored nine in this game. Look, Northwestern won the last, I'd say, 32 minutes. Look out. Nance with a left hand finish the feed for the freshman Simmons. You often lack until you develop the chemistry together. Northwestern now 14 assists on 16 makes. Should be 15 on 17. Barry with the feed. Georgia's got 23. Northwestern leads by 24. Bridges finally gets a better position. Those guys are good, aren't they? 
NFL wide receivers just blow my mind some of the plays they make. They are good. Most teams, they're good. Here's a three from Ingram. This is the second three-pointer made. Bridges backing down. Bridges' second basket of the second half. An area where there is no space. Bowie for three. His fourth. There's a Quendo off the miss. And Barron takes it away. More ill-advised Georgia dribbling leads to a takeaway. Bowie to Nance. Another assist. That's 17. Again, no spacing there in the corner. Got to get it out. A Quendo catch and shoot. He hits a three. You have guys that have played 100 plus games, but none together coming into this season. Consistency will be lacking. Good shot by Cook there was out and Greer took it away, got the roll. Greer stripped on the way up by Cook. Back to back turnovers for Northwestern. Oh, Quendo! Oh my goodness! Poor Robbie Barron has had two throwdowns in his face the last couple of nights. So as soon as he did throw ahead, you saw him lining up steps to do just that. And, and Oquendo has had a few this year. One of which was a sports center top three. That might not be top three. Nate Watson was number one last night, but that's pretty nasty. It was a non-shooting foul. Nance Young. Let's see. He's now eight for 13 for the field. Ingram draws a foul against Young. Ingram trying to inject some energy. But Georgia with a little extra pet. Three from Bowie missed. Offensive rebound for Julian Roper, the freshman squeezing in for his first two. It leads to other players having to scramble to make up for what you didn't do well. It, you usually lose that possession. Young, look in, doesn't need to dunk it. An athlete, he glides. I mean, he's a guy that he will be a weapon on both sides of the ball at some point once he really figures out how to, to win at this level. Cook. Cook on Greer. Right with a good look. He makes it. It's a 12 point game. See the rhythm has shifted. Cook for three. And an out. Rebounded and put in by Abdul Rahim. Bowie spinning on Cook. Finally a basket for Northwestern. Snaps it. If you think that's not a big deal, then you watch too much MMA. <laughs> like, that's a big deal. It hurts, man. Bowie, a little teardrop. It's amazing how much space you have. Cook ready to check back in for Georgia at the next stoppage. Bulldogs have missed their last seven. Not anymore. Quinto with a three. Cuts it to an 11-point lead. You just need to continue to, to get a better feel for the game. Know your spots, pick your spots, make better decisions, and, and you win more games. Young into Bridges, playing with the four fouls, and Young takes him to school. They're a residency right now, right? They're Lady Gaga, they're Celine. Just hanging out in Vegas for a week. I mean, they're almost so, they're so good. That was awesome. We didn't exactly, when I was at UCLA, Michael Buffer wasn't, <laughs> wasn't bringing in the game. Chris Bid. <laughs> Don't say it, by the way, you're going to have to pay for it. Bowie for two, and the lead is 14, I won't say it. Boo Booey's interesting for this team because they have a bucket getter, they have a guy you can trust to get a shot. And that's that's a big change for Northwestern. They just can't get beat on their own game there, that backdoor cut. Nance finds an open rear. And he missed it. Three Northwestern players are there. Simmons delivers to Nance. Send it in, Pete. Bridges scores a dozen for him. Longtime head coach at Indiana for nine seasons. Chris Collins in his ninth year at Northwestern may have something special going on. Yeah, I think they do have, have something good going on, but again, you've got to continue to build.